A new wall finish barrel swarf operation subtype allows you to swarf deep planar and contoured walls using a 5-axis tool motion with tangent barrel, taper barrel, and standard barrel tools. Wall finish barrel swarf supports zig, zigzag, and spiral cut patterns. Some common use cases include automotive and general machinery parts. The general workflow consists of selecting the walls, specifying the upper and or lower curves to determine the direction of the tool axis relative to the walls, defining the pattern based on the selected upper or lower curve or morphing between them, and defining the tilt and avoidance options. We'll begin by creating a new operation. Wall finish barrel swarf is new. Select the wall or walls you wish to cut. Multiple walls must be contiguous. Select upper and or lower curves to determine the tool axis orientation relative to the selected walls. You must be sure to specify the correct curve as upper or lower relative to the wall to orient the tool correctly. For example, if you wish to orient the tool with the flute pointing down, you need to select an upper curve on or near the top edge of the wall. The same concept applies when selecting lower curves. Select the top edges of the walls to specify the upper curve. Multiple curves must be contiguous. The zig cuts run parallel to the selected curves. In some complex parts, such as transmission housings or gearbox casings, the upper and lower curves cannot be used as pattern curves due to their freeform shapes. In these cases, the option Offset from Guide allows you to specify a pattern curve explicitly. Specifying an upper and lower curve allows you to morph the cut pattern between the top and bottom of the wall. The edge along the bottom of the wall has been selected as the lower curve. The edge along the top of the wall has been selected as the upper curve. The tool path morphs between the upper and lower curves. Options are available under Axis and Avoidance that produce a collision-free tool path by tilting the tool automatically. Lead Angle defines a range between the specified minimum and maximum values within which the tool lead may occur. The tool lead adheres whenever possible to the specified minimum value, deviating from that value to avoid collisions only up to the specified preferred angle. The preferred lead angle must be greater than the specified minimum and less than the specified maximum angle. Contact height options determine the portion of the barrel that is permitted to contact the part. The new Show Contact Preview toggle shows the minimum, maximum, and preferred contact rings on the tool. Contact points help you visualize the locations of the wall where the tool contacts the part at any given point along the tool path. The bottom of the barrel is denoted by a value of 0 and the top of the flute is denoted by a value of 1. The preferred contact height determines the contact point of the tool referenced on the barrel radius. The preferred contact height must be greater than the specified minimum value and less than the specified maximum value. The system will hold to the preferred contact height whenever possible. The minimum contact height determines the allowable contact point deviation below the preferred point. This value must be between 0 and 1 and be less than the maximum and the preferred contact height. The maximum contact height 
determines the allowable point deviation above the preferred point. This point must be between 0 and 1 and be greater than the minimum and the preferred contact height. Avoidance and axis smoothing provides options that allow you to create collision-free tool paths by tilting and or retracting and is particularly useful in cases where the walls form sharp internal corners. Here we have an operation that cuts inside a closed area and morphs between the top and bottom curves while using a zigzag cut pattern. Retract cuts as much of the wall as possible without colliding with the adjacent wall by retracting from the corner. Tilt Retract cuts as much of the wall as possible by tilting away as it approaches the adjacent wall and then retracting. In some cases, this option can safely remove more material from the corner than retracting alone. None does not avoid collisions. Report Collisions generates a collision report in the information window.